Hello. In this video, we'll be performing a practical based on servlet request response paradigm. Before starting with the practical implementation, let us try to understand the theory. So, as we know that Java servlets are server side programs that handle client's request and return a customized or dynamic response for each request based on user's input. A servlet runs behind the scene, that is, without using a graphical interface, on a web server and always work in conjunction with the web server software. This diagram is describing the servlet request response paradigm. Java servlets typically run on the HTTP protocol. As we can see here, a client, that is, nothing but a web browser, sends a request to the web server. A web server forwards this request to a servlet, which resides inside the servlet container. The servlet processes the request, constructs an appropriate response, which is usually formatted HTML, and returns it to the requesting web browser via the web server. So here, we'll be creating a web application to accept the name from the user and then send a welcome message along with his or her name as a response. Let us try to understand the software requirements for the same. So I'll be using NetBeans ID 8.1 with Glassfish Server 4.1. These are the steps for performing this practical. First of all, we have to create a new project. After creating the project, we have to edit index.html file, which is residing inside web pages folder of the project. Then we have to create a servlet file by right clicking on source packages folder. Once the servlet file is ready, we can run the project to see the output. To create a project in NetBeans IDE, go to File, select New Project. On this window, by default, Java Web Option is selected. So select the very first sub option, that is Web Application, and click on Next. On this window, you have to provide the name of your project. So I'm providing Demo project as the name of my project. Here you can select the project location and now click on Next. As we can see here, the default server is Glassway Server 4.1. Click on Next. No need to select any framework. Directly click on Finish. So this is the demo project. After clicking on this plus sign, we can see all the subfolders which are residing in it. This is the very first subfolder, that is web pages, inside which index.html file is residing. So basically on this file, you will be accepting the request from the user. I'll be editing this file now. As in this question, I have to accept the name from the user. So here I'll be creating a form first. I have to make use of two attributes of the form tag. The very first attribute is method. I'll be providing get method. We have post method as one more option. And the second attribute is action in which I'll have to provide the name of my servlet. Here, I'm giving a message for the user, that is, enter your name, creating one text field, in which a user can enter the value. 
the very important attribute is name attribute because we'll be using the same name in the servlet file. So here I'm providing the name that is uname. Creating a submit button. Input type is equal to submit and value is equal to submit. So this is the code for my HTML file. Once this file is ready, now we can create the servlet. And for creating the servlet, go to source package, right click, under new, select the servlet option. Here we can provide the name of the servlet. I'm giving the name welcome surf. This is my project name. This is a location. Here I can provide the name of the package inside which the servlet file will reside. So package name is equal to servlet or you can give any other name. Now click on next. On this window, you have to just check this checkbox. So this information will get added to the deployment descriptor of your project which is nothing but web.xml file. Now click on finish. As we can see here, welcome serve file is got created inside package name servlet, which is residing inside source package folder. Now on the servlet file, these are the default packages which are important for execution of the project. This is the name of the servlet, what we have provided. This is the first default method which is present here. If you go down and click on this plus sign, you can find two more methods. The first method is to get and then the second method is to post. As we can see in index.html, we have given Method is equal to get. So I'll be writing down the servlet code inside to get method. Let us try to understand the syntax of to get method. So as we can see here, it is accepting two very important objects. The first object is request, which is belonging to HTTP servlet request class. This object would be responsible for accepting the value or request from the client. And then the second object is response, which is belonging to HTTP servlet response class. The job of this object would be to give the output to the client. So for accepting the name of the client, I'll be declaring a string variable, string n, whose initial value is equal to null. Now inside this variable, I'll be storing the value what my user would be passing by making use of request object. Of this object, get parameter method will help us to get the value which my client is going to enter in the text field. So I'm selecting get parameter. Inside this, we have to put we have to put this value which we have given to the text field, that is uni. I'm copying the same value and I'm pasting it over here. Now, to print the output, one very important object is required here and that object is of class print writer. So here I'm creating an object named out which is belonging to print writer class. By using the object of HTTP servlet response class and with the method get writer. By using this out object and println method, I can print the output. 
that is my welcome message along with the name of the user. Now one very important step over here, as you can find in index.html page, I haven't given the value of action attribute. So here, the name of the servlet I need to provide. In our case, the name of the servlet is welcome serve. So action is equal to welcome serve. So my index.html file is ready now. Even my servlet file is ready. I can right click on the project and select the option click clean and build. In case if there is any error, it will show the error on the output window. So as we can see here, there is no error. I can right click and select the run option. So here on the output window, I need to provide the name of the user. I'm selecting the very first name and clicking on submit button. Here is the outcome that is welcome along with the name of the user. In case if I'm re-executing this program by changing the name of the user, it will give me the same username along with welcome message. Thank you.